Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Diane and today I'd like to show you five different ways that I used the Creative Memories Photography Border Making Cartridge to make some DIY embellishments. But before I do that, I would like to show you how the border making cartridge was designed. If you go to the Creative Memories website or blog, you will see this sample. I copied this straight from there. Um, the de it's designed to create a 12 inch border and each 12 inch border would have six cameras. Here it is, I punched it out of a 12 inch black cardstock and you'll see I just layered it right onto the paper. I just want to remind you that we don't always have to make them in black. It looks very nice if you use any color pattern paper to match your layout. Here I used a tone on tone pink and this time I used a 10 inch piece of um, pattern paper and it yielded five cameras. So you can play around with that and uh, use different colors as well. The last way I did use the border as it was designed is I created a 12 inch uh, piece of black border. And then I also made two 12 inch cuts on white cardstock. I layered them behind the black to create the shadow effect. Okay, but what I wanted to take show you today was how I used it to create embellishments. So I took the chain, I cut out a six inch chain, and then I snipped off each camera individually. Now the camera is the perfect size for any embellishment. It's up, uh, about a quarter, three quarters of an inch tall by about one and a quarter inch long. So it's just cute little size to tuck into different clusters. So the first DIY I wanted to show you was using it on a tag. Here you'll see I cut out a tag on my die cut machine, added a topper of pink, some washi tape, I popped up a flower, added a enamel star, and then I simply took the camera and tucked it underneath. And here's another tag. I put some leaves on the tag that I cut out from my die cut machine, put on some word stickers, and then again, added the camera right on top. This one I happened to use some gold mist and put some gold mist sprinkles around the tag. So now these two tags are ready for me to use on different page layouts. Okay, number two. Number two is a, I use my scallop punch and I punched out a scallop. I also cut out a circle using some text paper. Now all of this was done with some scrap papers and I just used different colors to go with the theme that I wanted to use on my layout. So I cut some banners and this time I cut out yellow cameras instead, but I did black it with some black cardstock and then embellished with a couple stars. So this one's now ready for me to put on a card or a page layout. The third way was I made a frame. Again, I cut this out on my die cut machine. I backed it with some other pattern paper. Again, this was all made from scraps. Tucked in a little bit of yellow back there. I just wanted to create a bunch of different layers. So I added in a half of circle, um, cut on my die cut machine, some banners, a little bow, and again, I put the camera right there on top. And this time I added a large enamel dot to the top of the camera hole where the lens would be. Okay, and the fourth way, I simply took a floral sticker and I cut out the camera. I heared it straight on top of the floral sticker this time I backed just the camera lens with a piece of white cardstock and I actually put the whole thing on a half circle just to kind of take some of the stickiness away. And then I tucked in some leaves that were also cut on my die cut machine. Okay, pretty simple. You see how the camera just adds a little bit to the cluster. And then the fifth and final way that I wanted to show you was that I made some journaling boxes. This first one came from another Creative Memories product, the Deep in the Woods. Uh, this was the digital kit. 
I did a print and cut on my Cricut, which cut out the whole journaling box, including the leaves on the side, made it very easy. Then I just took the camera, adhered it to the bottom, and put a little burst back there to make it look like the camera was flashing. And now I'll use this on a page to put my journaling. And then the other journaling box I made, I just cut, punched out one camera at the top of some lined paper and then backed it onto some black cardstock. Okay, I also wanted to show how we could punch out just one camera if we wanted to. If you don't want to punch out a whole chain, you don't need six of them. I wanted to demonstrate how we could punch out just one camera. So you would want to take, put your cartridge in, turn it upside down, slide your paper in, line it up to the camera or to whatever's inside. This can be done with any of the chain border making cartridges that Creative Memories has. And you just punch it and then out pops your camera. Here it is. You just have to snip off that one little piece and there you go, one camera. Okay, I also wanted to demonstrate how I punched this out of the top of the journaling card. It could be done on a journaling card or just a plain piece of paper. So what I did was I took, this is a three inch wide piece of cardstock. You could use journaling paper or just white or whatever you wanted to, um, to cut out. It doesn't even have to have lines on it. Three inches, I lined it up, pushed it all the way to the top, punched it out. There you go, one camera in the center. And then I just backed it with a piece of card, black cardstock. Okay, there you go. The five different ways that I used the camera punch. It's called the photography border making cartridge from Creative Memories. Go to their website, I'll have that linked below like I mentioned. If you um, already have a Creative Memories advisor, you can ask them about it. If not, I will have my information linked below and you can um, look at it on my Creative Memories website. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I hope that you like this video and please give me a thumbs up and if you would like, subscribe to my channel and come back in the future for other scrapbooking tips. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.